Hello folks, and welcome back to the Vertigo Tea Party, and a let's play Firewatch. I went ahead and restarted the day, so some of this is going to be repeat uh, from what you saw before, but I wanted to just put day two in a separate video, so I'll probably do that with the other videos as well. I'm awake, I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, all right. How convenient, you can't see her face. It's a terrible selfie, Jesus. Actually, to be fair, all selfies are terrible. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and read this note that I guess he typed up last night. Sleep is gonna be a real problem. Without making this a list of all that's happening all the time for Henry for the future, this was the night your tower got turned over and your sheets were gone. Going to have to figure out today because last night wasn't good and I'm fucking freezing. I was 100% sure I wouldn't have any Jules dreams out here since I was sleeping in a new place and everything, but sure enough, during the 30 minutes I fell asleep around 5 a.m., there we were back on the beach in Melbourne. There's that moment where I know it's coming, where I know the water is going to come up and up and up, and I think I'm going to spew, or my heart is going to stop or something. But this time, I woke up before anything happened. Maybe that's progress. I've had my fingers crossed that I would just be dreaming about squirrels and mountains and trees and shit. But what are you going to do? Sorry, it's really hard for me to read that for some reason. I can't quite figure out why. Eh. I was looking for interesting stuff. Or, like, you know, things that we might actually need. Probably not. Two orcs map. Hey, there's a map in my tower that I'm pretty sure is not USGS regulation. Um, unless I've unknowingly been assigned to work in two orcs. And Doom the lake Canyon. To the east is made of acid. Uh, that sounds erroneous. Looks like the previous resident was into fantasy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Don't you be judging. There we got a D20. Oh, what? We can't put that away? We might need it. We, see if we even got a 20. I'm pretty sure that rolled 20 again, because that's all I rolled, baby. That's all I rolled. All right. I think that's pretty much all we need. I was able to fix the map problem, and by I was able to fix, I mean, I looked online and found somebody else who was able to fix it. Um, so, yeah, we can actually see the map now. So the black map challenge is over. Uh, the map, ch black, the back. The, the black map challenge, to be fair, is only supposed to be for one day. So we actually did it properly. So that's fine. I'll show you the map in just a second. I still... I'm... Why does that happen? Like, there's got to be a reason it does that particular animation. So to fix this, and apparently it's only temporary because I had to reload the day. If you got this problem, bring up the map and then pause, like hit escape. Boom. Now it's going to happen again when you zoom in. But if you escape again... It's fixed, and then if I put it away, I can do it again. Pretty handy. Pretty darn handy. I like simple fixes like that. It kind of sucks that it comes back if you, like, reload or whatever, but... Alright, so we we're supposed to go... Oh, shit. Survey communication lines north of the canyon. So we are here. Ah, okay. So we gotta go east and then north. All right. Uh, where's uh, what's it? Run R. Maybe I can. Oh, I think I can't run with the map out of it. Ah, okay. Fair enough. We can. This is. Oh, we can still radio this in. Uh, I actually like the outhouse. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? 
Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. Yeah, I'm gonna call, give her a call when I'm dropping the kids off at the pool. Uh, the first few times I went to visit my dad when I was a kid out of Wyoming, uh, he had a, a uh, had to use an outhouse. That was fun. Wait, are we, is this where we're supposed to go? I think it is. Yes? If not, then I'll, again, cut this part out. But yeah, I'm pretty sure she said to go back the way we came to the cave. And this is where that cave came out. I am pretty sure. I'm trying to keep an out, eye out for our boy. Creepy guy. Who was peeping us the other day. I, I mean, yes, I get that there's other people that are going to be out here. It's a national park, right? But still. Like, he's just gawking at me, staring at me with the damn flashlight. Not saying anything, and then he just takes off. Like, that's not insanely, incredibly suspicious. Now, I can kind of see why he doesn't want to radio that in and, like, maybe give her all the details, but still. Like, he doesn't want to seem like a wuss or just being weirded out over another camper or reading too much into it, especially since we just started our job, but... Alright, anyway. I really hope we're going the right way. It's interesting the game doesn't really kind of, like, doesn't really lead you because it's not like a marker. Oh. oh. It's actually pretty damn cold out here. You're on Wyoming, you son. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? I just spend a lot of time with Julia. Oh, so you have someone there. Well. But you're taking a little break. Or... We're... <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. Can you hold that thought? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Are you wearing hey, short um, sleeves? I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Julia, girlfriend, ex? Sorry, I, I don't mean to pry. <sighs> that would be my wife, Julia. Oh, like, like your wife? Or like she's taken half my stuff, wife? My wife. But you're here. She's sick, and I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Look, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. I kinda regret not, uh... Not asking her about that call. Things are very suspicious when they, I feel like they shouldn't be. The game's like, hey, you keep pressing shift, stupid. Are you trying to run? It's like, yes. Yes, I am. I just want to look. Which way are we going, by the way? And this compass, of course. Eh, no, we're going the right way. We're going north. I don't know if that's necessarily the right way. But this thing is, uh... North. I like this kind of creepy look going on. Oh, there's the. Is that the rope we came. or the slide that we came down very ungraciously? Yeah, thought maybe you could call it in. Alright. Again, the game does a fairly good job, I feel like, of feeling. And maybe it's just because the game's not guiding us and telling us where to go, but it does a fairly good job of making me feel like. The area is wider than it probably really is. 
Like, I feel like, oh man, I really don't know if I'm going the right way because there's a ton of different options. When realistically, there's probably not, right? Like, you can already see, like, here obviously is a bad time to even mention that because it's obviously very tunneled. But, uh, I don't know, just, it's, I don't know, I get this weird feeling of that. Utility pole, oh, hi. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Follow your mom up to the top of the trail. I don't I don't know what that means. Will I run here? I don't know if this game has any hidden stuff at all. Like if it's just like any, any kind of collectibles or anything. One thing I do know that the game has, and I don't plan on doing this like in a separate video or anything, but they've got the developer walkthrough option, where you basically play the game and like as you walk through, the developers will comment about why they designed a certain thing the way they did, or any difficulties, or how they decided to do a certain thing, whatever. Uh, it's uh, not many games do that, uh, and I wish more would because I think it's really cool when they do that. I remember uh, the first time I ever saw that done was for Half Life Two, I believe it was. It was really cool to play through and like hear the developers talking about like why they did what they did uh, and like how they made the design, design decisions that they made, things like that. Very, very interesting. And this game, I feel like, especially after you play, I mean, it's already a short game. I think it's supposed to be about four hours. But I feel like you could blow through it really quick a second time with developer commentary on just to kind of see, or hear more specifically, uh, why they did what they did. Turtle. Whoa, I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Don't think it's a tortoise, well, buddy. Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds. No! <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see him. The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. <laughs> I really do like the uh, the dialogue between these two. It's pretty good. Oh, there's a red flowers. That seems to stand out. That draws my eyeballs. Well, it looks like it drew my eyeballs for no reason. Um, let's head back over here. I want to get this cash. Then we'll go back to following the wire. I, actually, you know what? I want to go. We're gonna go back. I want to go check that area over there. How long before we get to one of these locks? It's not one, two, three, four. <laughs> the map's not black anymore. Hooray. Dave. Hey, oh, I got your note about needing to talk and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're co-workers, you know? Amigo professionals. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I, I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it? In other words, please don't make it awkward and ask me about real life stuff. Uh, pine cones, thank God. Well, if I need, if I was desperately in need of pine cones in order to survive, this would have been the supply cache to find. I love how like every time I throw a note, they just kind of hang out there. Hey, who are these guys, Ron and Dave? They're leaving notes for each other in the boxes. Is there any chance one of them was that guy I saw in the canyon? You know, the guy with the flashlight? No, they're both rangers. They're not out here this season. I didn't really know them that well, but I always assumed the only thing Ron cared about was chasing tail and getting loaded. It's somehow comforting to know that he was able to keep up a correspondence with someone who wasn't going to send him a topless Polaroid. <laughs> Wait, is that you? Were you sending him topless Polaroids? I mean, I get you guys are very lonely out here. And you don't even see each other. Well, shit, we don't even see each other. We've never seen her. And I guess we'll probably go through the entire game and not see her. And given the way this game is, I have a, kind of the impression that we're not going to see any people's faces, most likely. We're going to see vague, dark, shadowy outlines. At best. We found a turtle. Well, I would consider that side excursion totally worthwhile now. Uh, God damn it. Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. You want to kill them, or...? How can these girls be so stupid? 
Trust me, I never underestimate the stupidity of a drunk teenager. Also, I never underestimate the balls of a drunk young woman, having been one. <laughs> Just last night, actually. Minus the young, maybe, depending on who you ask. So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out, but I'd rather it not come to that. It's weird you can't phone in about these blocked trails. I can phone in a turtle, but I can't phone in these trails that are blocked off that are apparently too scary for me to use my manly hands to get behind. Don't be a puss. Who cares if they're all thorny and shit? Jam your bare gloveless hands all in there. Bleed like a man. Oh, oh. Hold on. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Okay, good. Any sign of those girls? Did they mess with anything? I'll look around. What assholes? Also, are they like... Like, bleeding beer cans? Like, who drinks like this? There's like, just a trail of these things. Good lord. Also, how do they even carry this much shit up here? Like, we've already picked up like four, four or five cans? Is that, like, all they had on them? That's probably why they're so damn drunk, they didn't bring any food with them. Irresponsible. I mean, I hate nature and everything, because nature is totally crap. But don't be uh, disrespecting it by dropping cans and shit. It does deserve better than that, at least. Come on. Like, we've had at least, we've picked up at least a six pack at this point. <laughs> and go to hell. You know what? You go to hell. Damn it. Put it in your mouth. Into the wire. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. Yes. And then what? Destroy them. I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. Hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <laughs> don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Damn it, I cleaned path, it up the path. From there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Not with as much beer as they drank. Wait, what? Did they take their panties off and write, go to hell and put my face on it? Is that what those are? What the hell's wrong with this game? All right, yeah, let's go back down this way. <laughs> I kind of sort of cleaned up the trash. I was just thinking that was an alternate way to get up here. Because I came from, uh, like that direction. Over there. Over there a ways. So let's go this way. Yes, luckily I didn't uh, clean all the beer cans up. This is seriously ridiculous. How much beer did they bring? Maybe they were just like really good at living off the land. So they only brought beer, they didn't bring any, like, food. Because they can, like, live off berries and tree bark. Maybe we can hunt a badger or something. And live off of that. Maybe that's what they were doing. They learned how to... Long drop down. That's not that long. That's the sheet. Wait, nope. Didn't say that. Said the opposite. Get saved. Uh, supply drop. Let's check the supply drop. Well, they didn't come this way because there's not loads of beer cans. I just want to see if there's uh, one of those supply cache things around with the map update and all that good stuff. 
So I said I wasn't going to explore like every nook and cranny, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to explore at all. Apply here. It looks like a dumpster, but all right. Somebody was trying different codes. It was 999. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that was super useful. Thanks. Hey, seriously, nothing in here at all. This is why, this is how people die. If I broke my leg and I'm desperately needing first aid because for some bizarre reason I didn't put it in my backpack and or I lost my backpack, I'd be like, oh, thank God, a supply cache. Just one, two, three, four. Oh, fucking God damn it. Robert took all the shit out of it. But I got these pine cones, at least I can use that to make a antiseptic bad bandage and a crush. Because we're all trained to be MacGyver, of course. Now, if he added some a gum wrapper, then we could just create a helicopter and fly home. That's a penis. Okay. Oh, hello. I'm so glad there's not like some kind of quick time event there. Come on, wait, what? There was something. I thought it would. What? Damn it! Son of a bitch. Alright, fine. Eh. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Hey, it hits me in the face, concussion. Brian Goodwin's backpack. Wow! What kind of a nerd has his name on his backpack? Thanks, Mom. Just in case. Oh. Girls on film. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them. In decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. What, was he a fella you had a thing with? Hmm, yeah, it was so hot and heavy. Of course, Brian Goodwin was 12 years old, so, you know, our love could never really be understood. We had to terminate Ugh. this phone call. I'm kidding. Not about him being an actual 12-year-old. That part's true. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, and there's the smoke from the fire. What a coincidence. We just find enough rope that we can just tie these things and leave them there forever. And don't have to worry about getting, like, picking them back up and stuff. So that we can backtrack, backtrack now. What a strange coincidence that is. Oh, what? I can't take a picture of myself climbing on this snake looking rope? Yeah, because it gave us the option to climb back up if we, you know, chose to do so. Take a look around. What if there's some, like, thing with taking the pictures? Like, if you what take a picture. She She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Well, 
Well, we didn't really understand what was happening. You don't get Alzheimer's in your late 30s. No kidding. But even then, we didn't really get it until she couldn't work anymore and I couldn't leave her alone. It wasn't until then that I said, oh, this is it. This is over. That was hard. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. All right, let's see what we got in here. More pine cones, I'm praying to God, because we desperately need them. Can I update it? A photo dome, the place for photos. It's 27 photos come in, 27 photos come out, guaranteed. Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? No, not the shit heel Steve, it's your man, Ron. I went out to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself, more than usual for LOs, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself having himself in that hammock? I'm starting to think the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the creme, creme de la creme. Let's toast to Deb at the spots. This girl's name's not Debbie, right? I'm not good with names. Debbie! Debbie does Dallas. Oh. That's how I have to remember to write. Shut up. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. And maybe they're leaving me an entire creature, piece by piece. Maybe it's a threat. Oh, we can't take it. We could use it to keep the little turtle, uh... Turtle, uh... Company. <laughs> like, okay, who put a rock in there? Who's like, hmm... Like, somebody had to consciously go, mm, you know what, I'm gonna put a rock in here. Like, it didn't just fall in there, it didn't just form. Somebody was like, yeah, I'm gonna put a rock in here. Where's my... Is my flashlight on or off? I keep turning it on somehow. Oh, a fence. A fence in its natural habitat. I guess these things do just grow up wherever. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh, that's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, geez, I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? God oh damn God. it. Goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well... Having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. Especially if I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. It is very strange. This game definitely has that weird aura of... Like, when you play it, you expect, okay, it's just going to be your standard kind of story-driven game. There's going to be some kind of heartfelt crushing message and, you know, guy coming to terms. So, how'd you meet? We met in a bar. Mmm, the birthplace of modern romance. I walked over and asked her what her major was because I thought she was a student, not a prof. Smooth. That's me. I did make the first move, though. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. It'd be par for the course here. Ah, beautiful burn forest. All right, let's see what she says about From this. From this burned section of forest, I have no idea where to go. Their trail is pretty cold at this point. Hmm, you're out by Mule Point. No one would camp out in the fireweed. Well, I want you to stay out there as a favor to little old me. My pleasure. <sighs> okay, we know these young women are sloppy. They must have left some sort of trail. Well, I mean the smoke. Was it over here? I just saw it. Oh, there it is. It's funny I can't radio that in. 
Maybe because the standard player wouldn't have noticed it. I haven't had a lot of time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Damn it, nope. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! Flapjack. We're not gonna make Flapjack a thing. Alright, anyway, so I wanted to see what was over there. Yeah, I know. I find the teens. What kind of game is this? So we went up here. Uh, yeah, there's the telephone line. Uh, yep. No idea. You do not want to get lost in the woods with me because I don't- I can't read maps worth the shit. Alright, we're just gonna take a little peek over here. Just a little peek. Let's see what we find. Maybe we can find some more pets. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this, but I'm not gonna climb down. Not yet. Just in case, like, we come back around that way. Alright, let's go back this way. I'm fairly satisfied. I feel like that's either an alternate way to get over here, or B, it is the way to get over here, because if we go back this way, this might be blocked off or something. Or C, that's the way we'll get back around. Oh, shit. Gotta jump down over here at this... Officially sanctioned jump down spot. Oh, we can see it's officially sanctioned because they painted the tips of the white tips of the rocks red white So what game was the first game to do the like the the white? What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? Are you gonna go be with her just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. Uh, maybe I'll go visit. I don't know Well, why not? She's, in She's Australia. with her family in Melbourne. They're not big fans of mine. Oh. Her sister, Susan, is great, but her parents, I, uh, think they always thought she could do better, and that I could have done a better job looking after her. Fuck that. I have no doubt you did your best. I don't know. If you want to go visit her, you should go. Don't let a couple of assholes keep you away from someone you love. I'll think about it. That actually looks really far away, now that I look at it. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? You, you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Not that it matters, we can't call it in. Um... It said the, uh, the map was updated. It said Five Mile Creek or Five Mile River. Oh god, my memory's so bad. Bad memory combined- let's see, there's Five Mile Creek. I see there's like that thing marked there with a camp site. Thunder Canyon. Alright, fuck it, let's just go. Just blindly go forward. What could possibly happen? Again, this is why I uh, would probably not uh, do very well out in the wilderness. Easily lost, can't remember where I've been. Would go in circles and be like, this place looks totally new. I'm not just looping back into where I was earlier. Everything's fine. Wow, getting a lot of these. Wow, I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Remember when people knew who Evil Knievel was? Um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's go that way. I feel like we could go, probably go either way. I feel like... The game is designed mostly linearly, so that you mostly have to go one direction. 
and you don't do things in a specific order, blah, blah, blah. But I feel like maybe it's such that you could take, like, sections like this, I could either go do the, like, around the creek, Brett, around the creek, or, like, this will also go that same direction. And there's probably no, like, posit no major positives or negatives for doing that. Uh, they're just trying to give you options so that, again, it kind of reinforces that feeling that you actually are out in big, scary, nasty, disease-ridden, ant-filled nature. And that you actually can just kind of go where you want, even if you really can't. Because, of course, as the game developers, it's, you know, you have that that nasty, uh, nasty issue where if you really wanted to make this, like, more realistic... Oh, hello. Oh, block trail. Uh, if you want to make it realistic, like, it would be huge, it'd be super easy to get lost, to the point that, you know, you could be lost for hours. So you, you know, you have that nice realism feel. But the problem would be, of course, that, you know, as a player, you don't want to be just running aimlessly for hours on end. Oh, we've... Wait. I was gonna say, we... I can tell we've been there because the piece of paper is out in the middle of nowhere land. Hey, there's a snack in here. I'm probably gonna eat it. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. But it's probably fine. I'm eating it. I'm gonna radio that in. I ate it over. Yeah, we, we did read this, right? Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Find out, find one of those bars you liked hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I get back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I read that one. Where'd it go? I probably should actually, you know what? Um, fuck it, I'm gonna hold it. I don't know why. Alright, uh, smoke. Shit. Now it's kind of where I wish that I knew where on the map she had marked. He's, now I remember him saying, oh, it's the something west of me. Oh, there it is. Thin column of smoke. All right. Let's keep heading that way. Because, yeah, it's interesting we actually doubled back to where we were. I had no idea we were that close to that, to uh, the area. But, you know, I'm constantly, perpetually lost, so that helps. But again, have we been here before? Probably. Do I remember it? Nope. Now, my memory's bad as it is, but especially when it's, like, nature, it's like, yeah, all this shit looks the same to me. Need to put some kind of landmark up. Oh, hey! Our old buddy here. I'm back at the shale slide. You know, the one that nearly killed me yesterday? You ready to give it another shot? Ugh. Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Ugh. Be a man. It was the rope, not the hill, that gotcha. And we have since disposed of that rope. Actually, I guess it's... Parts it should still be here. We should take the parts of the rope and rebuild it. Alright, so... Hold on, let me bring my compass out so I actually understand. Alright, so it's southwest. And yeah, I'm gonna like, go ahead and attach these as I see them, but I think we actually will take this one too. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and hop down here. Oh no, George A. Romero is dead. It's 77 years old. Just saw that pop up on tweeters. Shame to hear about that. Let's see if we can get our way over that smoke this way. Again, I feel like there's probably multiple paths that you can take. Because they, they've got a story to tell. You know, obviously the joke to be made about walking simulators and all that. So they've I mean, they got the story to tell. They want to get on with telling said story. There's probably not like a million different paths you can go on that are going to get you lost. As long as you're going in the general correct direction. Which I may or may not be at this point. Where did it go? I mean, it's a little bright out, so it's making it hard to see. Let's just keep going southwest-ish. Oh, hey, another box. 
hopefully you'll have more crap in there. I wonder, I also kind of was thinking maybe I should be paying attention to the stuff that's like the number that's mentioned in there. Figured that might be important, like the number that's already in there. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? This missing person. Yeah, I wanted to ask about this missing person flyer. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. You really didn't like that guy, did you? I don't know. I honestly, I just had a hard time talking to him. I mean, there are lookouts who seriously won't shut up, who call me about every little thing that pops into their head. Hey! And then there are those who just want to be left alone. He was the latter. Nothing wrong with it. And I'm the former, aren't I? Well, I didn't want to say anything. Huh. No, it's fine. I'll just uh, chuck my walkie-talkie into the river. Oh, come on. And uh, you'll never hear from me again. Finally, peace and quiet. Woohoo! So. Isn't your radio supposed to be in the river? I couldn't bring <laughs> myself to do it. Well, I guess I'm stuck with you then. Yeah. So, did you mention something about Ned Goodwin having PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. Uh, he was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next of kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. I might have yeah, known that. Their water is a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. There you go. Perfect. See, I'm an artiste. No, you said it. Just, ah, here we go. The trail that should be leading us over there. This looks trailly. I got some really great pictures of the last time I was in Wyoming of a big outcropping of aspens. I found a music player, so this could be good. Is this the trail? The river, waterfall thing. Where the hell did the smoke go? That's bugging me. All right, where's my compass? Um, I think we should be going this way, but that's not really. See, I don't really tell if that's a trail or not. I want to... Oh, hello. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. We don't know that they love skinny dipping. They went skinny dipping like that one time. I think it's a little bit much to extrapolate that they are skinny dipping enthusiasts. Skinny dipping aficionados, if you will. Uh-oh, here we go. Ah, so they put it out little shits. I see a campsite and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out yeah, here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Track them down. I don't Murder want to them. see you. What a job this is. I will fucking punish them and scare them and also skin them and wear their flesh as my own. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Huh. Pants are back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, pants are back? 
According to the experts at Teen Zone magazine, it's unclear where they've been. The pants, I mean. Well, I can't take it. I might want to read this later. It's going to be very lonely later on. I feel like it's not always going to be filled with action adventure. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you... It's another one of those magazines. <laughs> Tame your hunk. I don't get why the hunks have to be so dangerous. Well, you're clearly not a young woman. Girls should want nice hunks. Ugh, boring. <laughs> I like her. Yes! He's just really half-hearted stomping it out, I feel like. Like, he just not- his heart's not into it. Like, if you're gonna stomp on something with your, uh... Your, what is it, uh, the Jack Thug boots or whatever, you should put your really- your heart and spirit should These be there. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Ow! My butt. Alright. Oh, are you gonna trash the beer or take it home? Ah, found my sheets! So they did break into your tower. Looks like. Oh, right. Like, I was... Still wasn't... I'd forget that we weren't sure it was them, because it technically it could have been the other person. Wow, those are some classic pillow sheets, like the little rose shit. That's pretty funny. All right. Oh, found their tent. They couldn't have gone too far, then. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder. Which Does it? would explain that scrap oh. I found. What could have done that? What the hell? Like a, like a bear, or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Good yeah, point. Good thinking. What I said. Get a few pictures from the sign. Before we read that note that I obviously see. Yeah, he's like, oh, it's torn the shreds. I'm like, what are you talking about? It looks fine. All right, one more. Get one up close. Can we zoom in? No. <laughs> they even got the sounds right from the. Because we use those cameras all the time. Uh, they get the sounds right of the the snap and the little winding to the next roll or whatever. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. How about can I take it to the limit one more time? Oh, they're gone for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone. Me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Damn it. They're threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? Not yet. Henry, oh, did god you damn attack it. or do anything that could be perceived as an attack to these cameras? No! No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. When would I have done yeah, this? I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like, I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. All right, can I read the note now? Okay. What? I didn't even get a chance to read the note. All right, there needs to be some way to actually let you choose to go to the next day. Like, I didn't get a chance to read the damn note. There was other things there I wanted to look at. That's really annoying. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and stop it there. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, thanks again to Noth for your continued support on hey, Patreon. Harry? I very much appreciate it. Yeah. Make uh, sure, God damn it. What do you look like? Uh, we'll just ignore that. Asking? Thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments, and I'll see you next time.